We used to catch codfish nearly as long as ourselves in them big rivers, you know. We wanted cod. We knew where the cod are. It was a wonderful life on the river. They're pretty predictable. They're uh, they're pretty snag orientated. They really like uh, the big the big fallen trees, um, the logs. Sort of still casting towards the snags, getting as close as I can. Root balls are, are, are a good one. There's lots of structure that they can back in there and hide and get out of the sun, and, and they can actually uh, ambush their prey. They've got an explosive sort of take when they uh, take your lure. They, uh, it sort of, it really rips the rod out of your hand sometimes, and it's, it's just always a surprise. The so Murray cod is Australia's largest freshwater fish. It's been recorded up to lengths of 1.8 metres. They're a key fish species, one of the icons of of the reach and of the basin. Nationally, they're now a threatened species. Some areas were, had been removed of snags, so part of the activities that we did were to, uh, to try and replace some of those snags, and that was uh, through engineered log jams that provide a double function with um, stabilising riverbanks but also providing that in-stream habitat. But I guess on the longer-term focus of the demonstration reach to achieve this, uh, this natural input of, of snags into the future, uh, the focus had to turn to the riparian zone or the, the vegetation on the riverbank because that ultimately is is where the, the logs, the branches, the trees themselves come from uh, that provide the, the ideal home for the Murray Cod. This is the one coming through the native river red gum, looking really good. Oh, the river's just part of our life. What we've done, um, we've fenced off oh, around about a kilometre of the, the river, about 20 metres from the river edge. And then we've done a tree plant, three rows of trees. And we've um, also, in the same process, put um, watering points on the place so that we don't use the river as a watering point anymore with the cattle. My boss has been very proactive in fencing all of the river to uh, limit the amount of uh, access the cattle have got to the, to the banks of the river and the river itself. Well, it actually just keeps the water uh, cleaner. You can really see it sort of downstream from where the cattle are. The Nemoy Demonstration Reach was established in 2007 to empower the local community to protect their, their natural river systems. We do this through a range of on-ground works, but we're also trying to get the landholders, the community groups involved, and back that up with science. A whole heap of landholders have gotten on board, planting thousands of native trees, fencing off kilometres of riverbank, managing the, the weed species that are on those riverbanks. The other factor that's, that's been really been a success of the project has just been that recreational fishing uh, outcomes from it, of people noticing um, more fish being caught, The, the river is a focal point and there's been a lot of work to make the actual river more beautiful. It, it's the lifeblood of the town, it, it's sort of, uh, if we didn't have the river we wouldn't have the town.